Welcome to School Focus. I'm your host, Melissa Payne. Students at Independent Hill School and Pace East School welcomed some special visitors that helped them create an important asset for their greenhouse. We'll have that story in a moment. But first, the Office of Professional Learning is hosting an event that will provide helpful parenting tips. The event will begin with a viewing of the documentary film American Promise. This will be followed by two workshops. Navigating Home and School Norms will provide information on parenting styles in collaboration with schools and educational achievement. While the workshop entitled Momentum from College and Beyond will provide information on how best to motivate and prepare your child for college and life. The event will take place at the Kelly Leadership Center on November 15th from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Herman Venegas and some of his neighbors who live in the town of Occoquan began the Friends of the Occoquan organization in 2000. Friends of the Occoquan is an organization of uh, citizens concerned with the preservation of the watershed, especially the Occoquan River. Our main goal have been the water conservation and preservation of the river. We started by cleaning up the river twice a year. Over the years, they have encouraged area schools to help with the cleanup. And now through their water preservation program, they are providing even more valuable lessons to schools. Why should it go on the ground? Why couldn't we collect it in the rain barrel for our plants? Representatives from the Friends of the Occoquan organization presented a workshop where students made rain barrels to collect water for their greenhouse. The greenhouse at Independent Hill and Pace East School has been a living classroom for many years. Students plant seeds or clippings and then they have the chance to observe the plant life cycle. Working in the greenhouse is a part of the student vocational program. The vocational program is to get the students ready for when they leave us so that they can be hired on and maintain a job in the community but also give them life skills so they're not having to have people do everything for them. During the rain barrel workshop, students assembled two rain barrels. They started by drilling holes, then inserted a water faucet. To hold the faucet in place, they attached washers and gaskets on the inside of the barrels. Each barrel can hold up to 55 gallons of water. By collecting their own water, students learned that they can save money by not having to buy water for their greenhouse. Pacey's 10th grader, Artie Anderson that they help the environment save money and they can help you plant and stuff. Rain barrels can save approximately 1,300 gallons of water during the peak summer months. They also reduce pollution by decreasing the amount of toxins that enter directly into the watershed through stormwater runoff. To find out more about the Friends of the Occoquan organization, visit their website. The next step is for students to not only put their rain barrels to use, but to decorate them in their art classes. That's it for this edition of School Focus. Join us next time as we bring you more news and highlights from around the school division.